Access Chapter 3, we're wrapping up Step 9. It asks us to add a total row to a sum under discounted amount, which we did. Run the query, which we have. And we have total dollars amount and discount amount. And then it asks us to save the query as order summary. I right click the query one tab. I type order summary. and click OK, and then return to design view. That's the end of step nine. Step 10, add a criteria to the order date field so that the orders made between January 1st, 2016 and December 31st, 2016, so for the whole year of 2016, are displayed. Let's start there. Okay. Add criteria to the order date field. Here's our order date field. We want to come down here to the criteria row, and it's ask us to do it between. Now, this is what the formula should look like when we're done. I'm going to type between. I'm going to put a space. And then I'm going to do hashtag, which is shift number three. 1-1-2016, one one which is January 1st, 2016. I'm going to go shift three again for that um, hashtag to appear. And I'm going to make this a little bit wider so you can see what we're doing. I'm going to go space and a capital AND, space, and then shift three for our hashtag or number sign or pound sign, people call it, 12-31-2016. And then I'm going to go shift three again. We've just said we want to return the fields in the order date that were ordered between January 1st, 2016 and December 31st. 2016. Now it says change the total row to where. So here's our total row under order date. Right now it says group by. We want to go to where. And the expression will display only orders created in 2016. Run the query. And now we know these are just the 2016 orders. And we're going to go ahead and right click the order summary and save and right click the order summary and close and that's the end of step 10. Step 11, create a copy of the order summary query. Here's our order summary query. I left click on it to highlight it, right click it, copy, and then I click back in the white space of all access objects here just click and then I right click and paste. It'll ask me what do I want to save this query as? Well I want to call it order financing. So I'm just going to retype and I click OK and now you can see we have an order financing query, an order summary, and a shipping efficiency. Order summary is the one we copied. Be careful. Access is going to go back and highlight that but we want to work to order financing. It says switch to design view. I can right click and go to design view or I can double click, open it and go to design view here. Remove the discounted amount field. Well here's our discounted amount. I'm going to get right up there in the top and highlight it and hit my delete button. That's the end of step 11. Step 12. Add a new field using the Expression Builder. So I'm going to click here in our fourth field, and I'm going to go up to Expression Builder. It's saying we want a new field called Sample Payment, and we want to insert the PMT function. Here's what we're going to look at. 0.5% interest rate divided by 12 months. We need the number 12 for the number period of arguments. And for the calculated field, we want extended amount. That's important. Don't forget that. And then zero for future values and types. So we've come and used our database before. This time we're going to use functions. Click the pull-down menu for functions, the plus. 
click built-in functions and go on over to financial and expression categories. Over in expression values, double click PMT and you see the PMT very similar to Excel if you've worked with that. And now we're just going to click once in rate and we're going to type 0.05 divided by, which is the slash underneath your question mark, and 12. Kind of hard to see it's hiding it behind the formula here. This is like my formula. And I'm going to click once in the number period. And we want 12 for 12 months. Okay. And then in present value, this is where we're going to find the extended amount field. So I click once in present value, I go shift and E, and it gives me all the choices for E. These are functions, the employees is a table, but we want extended amount field. So we'll double click extended amount. In future value, it told us to use zero, and I click once in type, and we also put zero, and then we go OK for our completed Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I forgot to give it a title. Right now, Access has named our formula Expression 1. I'm going to come back and hit Builder. I'm going to come up here for Expression 1 and Backspace. You could use your cursor. And I'm going to type Sample Payment. Sorry, I did this in backwards order. I'm going to go Shift and Colon. Then we know that our field is called Sample Payment and that we've done the PMT function for an interest rate of 5% per 12 months for a period of 12 months on the extended amount fields. Let's go OK. That's got our formula and that's the end of step 12. Step 13, change the total row, which is right here, to expression. So we're going to just click that pull down menu and select expression for the sample payment field. Change the format for the sample field to currency. Since we're still highlighted here, we can come to the property sheet that will affect the sample payment field. We can come to format and go down to currency. Run the query and verify that the second order has a sample payment of $125.84. I'm going to come up here and hit run. And sure enough, we have $125.84. The parentheses mean it's a negative value. It's owed. And now we save the query. Right click, save. And now we close the query. Right click, close. And that's the end of step 13.